Hockey has always been a part of my life. I watched the players race up and down the ice with the sounds of clashing sticks and skate blades carving into the ice and the loud boom the boards make when there's a big hit. I always enjoyed watching hockey games when I was little. I used to go to Anaheim to watch the Mighty Ducks play hockey. The Ducks were a very physical team and had very good defense. I would always get excited when the Ducks scored a goal and their goal horn would rumble the seats at the stadium. I was influenced by their gameplay and I took an interest in hockey at the early age of five. I started out playing street hockey in my backyard with my dad and I would use a roll of electric tape as a puck. I would lay down two two by fours and hit them with a puck and that would count as a goal. This is how my hockey lifestyle started. I was ready to move to playing on real ice. I started my rookie year when I was only in kindergarten at a rink called the Croc Center. I played my first season using rental skates and a wooden stick that had no curve and had also been used for street hockey. The rink would have three games going on at the same time but had padded blocks to separate the ice into three sections and we would play in one section because we were too small. I was the only kid who could shoot the puck high and would score a lot because of that capability. Two seasons later I moved up a level and was now playing on a full sheet of ice. The game was much more enjoyable because we had much more room to skate and there were no padded blocks for the puck to get stuck under. After this I played for Pee Wee Hockey for the San Diego District League. I was the top scorer that season and would get one to two goals each game. I was the fastest person on the ice and once I got the puck it was a very high chance I would score a goal. I made all-stars that season and played with the top players from each district team and got a goal that game. That was a season that really stuck with me because I learned what I am capable of. Now I play for the San Diego Union Hawks which is a team part of the Anaheim Ducks High School Hockey League. As a Hawk, I have formed many bonds with my teammates. Some of my teammates I've known since my rookie year. It was great playing with those teammates again because we knew exactly where they're going to be when we want to make a pass. We also hype each other up in the locker room to play with extra excitement. This is something to have an experience playing with any other team. The skill level of this team was on a whole other level. I started out being sort of an enforcer on the team because I was one of the bigger players on the team. I would get our bench fired up with big hits and being very physical. I would also piss off the other teams by chirping aka trash talk and calling them out. I was less skilled than, than some of my teammates at that time and I scored less goals than I do now. But I was good at passing I can make awesome plays by using teammates to create breakaways and three on O rushes. However, I was still on the second and third line on the roster. I was getting better and better each time I played. I played two years on the Hawks and now I'm a first line starter and I'm the one that sets the tone of the game. Being on the first line, I have a lot more opportunities to score a lot more goals than I did as my first season as a Hawk. I still play physical, but I learned to moderate it in order to be more effective as a player instead of taking myself out of the play to make an unnecessary big hit. I played varsity and the veterans weekend college trip in Michigan. I played so hard that game and grinded and played with heart. I improved my reaction time and my anticipation and my speed. I anticipated where the puck was going to be before it got there and would create plays and scoring top opportunities. After the college trip, I went up to coach to give him back the varsity jersey I borrowed to use in the tournament. He told me to hold on to it and keep it ready in my hockey bag. I was really excited when I heard this because now I have the opportunity to make the varsity team roster. 
I'm going to give everything I have on the ice to make an impression on the varsity coach. Looking back at how I began and where I am now is just crazy. I never thought starting out in just my backyard shooting a roll of electrical tape that would lead to me playing for so long and hockey being a part of my life forever.